movie really out of focus? Did that actor really not have a face? No! It's the Blind Movie Reviewer! 8.15, Derek is legally blind just to answer, because everybody has you blind, can you see them? No, he can't. He's actually blind. What are you doing to your crotch, man? I just noticed my fly was undone. Oh. I thought you were pull, talking to me. Like, pull out my nothing. fly. No. I know your hands. Yeah, one of those zippers that just keeps going down. Son of a gun. Because I'm so big. <laughs> <laughs> Derek uh, went to see American Gangster. American well, you gangster? went to American I went gangster. to it, yeah. Went to it with uh, my wife, Rebecca. And uh, Ridley Scott directed this one. My man, Denzel. Mm. My man, Denzel. And Russell Crowe is in this one as well. And this Would Russell Crowe be your man, too? He's my man. Oh, not my man. He's not my man. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> this is a this is a true story, and it, there's it's two parallel stories at the beginning. There's the story of of Denzel's character, excuse me, <clears throat> Frank Lucas, uh, and he is he was in reality from the late '60s into the '70s a heroin kingpin in New York City. He uh, he was one of the most powerful people in New York City at one point during that time, which was amazing for a black man to be at that time period with all the civil rights and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And his deal was, his racket was, that he actually had heroin grow operations right in Southeast Asia, and he would smuggle the, the, the pure heroin back to the States using service planes from the Vietnam War. Wow. So he had a real good racket going there. Now, on the other side, the other story that's going on is the story of Richie Roberts, which is Russell Crowe's character, and he's a, a part of the NARC squad in the NYPD, and uh, he's a very, very ethical man. In fact, there's one point where they find a million dollars in the back of a car, completely unaccounted for, and he took it back to the police station. Wow. Oh, you mean he's an idiot? Idiot. <laughs> yeah. Would well, you guys take that money? Yeah. Well, see, now this Most is of the it. thing. Everybody Gotta else. Be smart about it. Yeah. Everybody else on his team thought he was an idiot because they all would have taken from it, and they were, as he discovered, taking money all the time. Very corrupt. Oh. So he, so you have this story of, of Frank and his rise to power, then you have the story of Richie Roberts and his sort of rise to realization that the police are corrupt in New York, and his investigation leads him to Frank Lucas, and by the end of the movie, he, they finally meet, and he gets arrested, and, and it's, uh, it's quite... Uh... Eric, the blind mover of your Did you guys just hear that? What? what? Did, did you hear that? What? I thought I just heard like distortion and yeah, there. yeah, I heard that. What was that? I don't. Um, okay, as a blind, as a sighted person, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy this film very much because it's a it's a really well told story and uh, great acting in it. <laughs> um, as a blind person, there's the usual uh, aspects of you know flashback scenes and frustration, and frustration, and subtitles and all that kind of stuff. Now. I, and it was two and a half hours long. Oh, and, wow. And, subtitles again? Well, just some. No, not oh, okay. subtitles. More like, uh, you know, 19, you know, they give the dates oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah, when yeah, things yeah. were happening. So, you know, I suddenly we're in, suddenly we're in Bangkok and then suddenly we're back in New York. And I couldn't figure out what was going <laughs> on. Oh, yeah, you can't even really enjoy time pieces because of the cars and the settings exactly. and, the, yeah. and the fashion. You know, I can tell, <laughs> yeah. I can tell it's a piece by... Uh, a period piece when they when you hear like manual typewriters and and ringing telephones. Interesting. Yeah. yeah that, oh, I that, see. So that that sort of gives me my first clue. Now, as a, uh, a, a I was sitting there and I'm thinking, you know, this this could be a could have been a much more entertaining film if uh, let's say it was maybe Bill Cosby and Homer Simpson. I think it would sound something like this. Eric, the blind movie reviewer. Okay. What is that? Okay, guys. I, um, <clears throat> listen. Uh, I, have to, I have to tell you guys something. Uh, I've been doing this for, what, two years now? Yes. Yeah. This, this whole yeah. thing? And um, there's something I haven't told you guys. I'm, I'm actually um, I'm working for somebody else. I have been for a long time. What do you mean? And they're, they're about to show up. Um, I'm actually from another planet. I'm from the planet Myopia, and 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 my people are coming right now. Oh, there they are. Oh no! Oh, they're not good drivers. They're, they're landing on Young Street here, right by the door of 228 Young Street. What are you doing? What is this? Just watch. They're, Freaky. They're coming down. Yep. Oh. Greetings from your home planet, Myopia. Derek, the blind mover of hero. Greetings, Supreme Commander Ray Charles. Mm. Sorry about 
dumbass. Oh, that's okay. Second in command girl from the Lionel Richie hello video. Is it me you're looking for? How's the whole sculpting coming along? Movie reviewer, your mission to prepare Earth for cohabitation with our race of blind aliens is now complete. It is time to return to a home world. But, but I had more to do. I had more, more movies to review. Silence! The bit was getting old. Oh. And you could have updated your blog a little more often. I didn't know what to write. Now get on board the ship. Well, come on. No. No, I'm not going to go. This is my time. I got, I, got, I got too much stuff to do. There are a lot of women's breasts I haven't accidentally brushed up against. And besides, <laughs> I was in the middle of a great review. I'm not going. All right, then. If you won't come up voluntarily. We'll use a levitating track to be. <laughs> <laughs> Like the look of that probe. Guys, yes. guys, you got you got Jason. I, I'm oh. I'm over here. Ah. Look, they're flying like a bat. See you later, guys. Todd, I'll think of you when I pass Jupiter. Goodbye. Farewell, Sadis. And that's the way I see it. Uh oh. He's, He's gone. Uh, He's gone. gone. He left. That's huh. unbelievable. We got chills. We just witnessed something. Will we see him again? I don't know. We didn't even get the blurry review on American Gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did he leave, he left us hanging. Is it good? <laughs> what are people going to do? See the movie? <laughs> Crazy. You know how much money he saved? A lot of people. <laughs> 18 bucks a week. Sometimes if you brought a bad date, 36. <laughs> well, we will miss him. I, for one, will miss Derek. Mm -hmm. He was a good friend. I, I had no idea he was an alien, but uh, nonetheless, he was a very dear friend. And I wish wish we could have helped him there. I wish there was more we could have done. Well, you can only do so much in a world full of strange and crazy beings mm -hmm. that appear <laughs> from another planet. I think they're from Uranus, actually. Mm. I did notice that odor. God bless. Godspeed, Derek, wherever you are. <laughs> and I will come for you one day. Rest assured of that. Yeah. I will come for you one day.